Hello everyone, Attack Power here with another Kingdom Night Joust here for February. Diving right in here against Bori. And Bori is playing Group Hartenek on Balanced Income. And I am playing 11th SS Nordland on Maverick Income. I know, shocker. Uh, so I picked first, uh, so I had to pick my division first. And um, I actually just played 11th SS on this map a day or two ago. And the plan I executed went really well. So I'm going to try that similar plan to what I did before. And uh, I like 11th SS. I, I actually am a fan of this division. I think it still holds a lot of a lot of weight, even in this current meta, even being an older division. I think it does some really cool things that very few other divisions do, um, you know, specifically with some very big boomy units that can clear out total entire areas. You get Pumas and stuff, which are not very common. Uh, so it has a really explosive start. I cannot build this deck uh, balance wise. And also, you know, I don't like mirror income, even if it's balanced mirror. I'm not a huge fan of that. So when he he picked income first, so he picked balance. So I said, you know what? I normally play this deck Maverick style. I was planning to play a Maverick style. If he had picked Maverick, I would have then questioned, maybe tried Vanguard or something. But since he decided to go balanced, uh, I decided, you know, Maverick was definitely the right way to go. So the plan here, pretty simple. Holding pattern here on the left and the right, although I'm hoping the right won't even need the holding pattern. Um, the, mo the majority of the push will come here in the center. Uh, two Pumas, SPW as well, pushing all here into the center with some Flamers and Pioneers, along with some infantry to push into this woods, uh, infantry to secure this woods over here, two MGs to cover that entire advance. Uh, and then we're going to push a cheeky Puma along with a fl Flamma Buffer up into this flag. So this Puma serves two purposes here. It cuts off any, re uh, any attack that comes down this road. Very common to see players push for this point here, basically, uh, and a Puma will totally shut that down completely. Uh, his division is not super fast off the draw. They don't have Lama buffers or anything uh, to go super early aggressive. Um, so hopefully his slower transports and stuff kind of bone him. Uh, my double Puma opening should be able to take out transports and stuff before they get into good position. So they, he might have to unload earlier in the town, which will allow my flamethrowers to get into the town here and start making work uh, and CQC, allow these guys to push up, grab both of these flags, hopefully, and then maybe be able to develop here. If this unit can push through, get to this flag here, then I will have a very healthy 15-9 uh, pushing and developing from the center. Once he is focused on that, my Maverick income will kick in and I'll be able to start making pushes on the left here uh, to really up the pressure and continue to reinforce hopefully this very far forward position, which is dangerous. Uh, you know, obviously the Puma can die to most things uh, here in the center if he brings up early heavier armor like a Jagdpanzer, uh, like a Hetzer or something, or even like a Tiger. Uh, I will be kind of boned. Um, so yeah, and, and not getting these flags will kind of suck. Uh, this only gives me a 1410 capturing these, so I definitely will have a bit of an issue then. Uh, but the option is then to kind of, I can like develop this way into the woods. Uh, don't really want to fight him a ton in the woods. My CQC is not that strong, but my yellow fight is quite good with my auto cannon recon cars and stuff. Uh, he only has so many panzer trucks to work with, and his infantry don't have much CQC outside of that. Uh, so, you know, predicting he uses one panzer truck card like a normal build would be, uh, we can definitely run that out and you know, probably in A phase, he's got four of them. I have a lot of SPWs and auto cannon cars to work with. And he, you know, I mean, he's got tanks and stuff to deal, but yeah, I think, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I'm hoping this push goes well. Now, truthfully, then I can fight in the open. I got Panthers and stuff. I got IG 33s and things to work with. It's not like I don't have units to work with outside of that. And of course, my first buy is going to be an AR 234. Uh, I'm going to use this to crack open any defense that he has. Um, you know, his AA is really not that good. If I see the SDK of Zed's and A, then I know I can use Artie and stuff to target those and kill those off. And then his AA really sucks from that point on. And and the, I don't even think, can the fighters even catch this thing? No, they basically can't. They have the same, his BF-109 G6 R6 has the same speed as this. Uh, his BF-109 G6, which sucks, um, is going to have a hard time. So hopefully my bombers are almost indestructible. The Falkwolf A8, if his AA can be suppressed or if he doesn't have the points to invest in it properly, uh, can do a ton of damage doing strafes and stuff, as I'm sure you've seen many times in cast. So that is the game plan. We have a very solid, very well thought out game plan here. And I feel like oftentimes that is just my issue. I just don't actually have a plan other than to like sit there and defend. But we're going to we're going to go. We're going to put the screws to him and push. weird usually i am not the guy who takes the longest it's totally fine i'm just not usually i'm not used to waiting it's very abnormal 
Now, it is possible he'll do what a lot of people have been doing on Tali lately, which is pushing up this road into this position, but the Pumas counter even that. That's the nice thing about this division on this map, especially from this side. I have such a good opener with these Pumas and stuff to stop any kind of push he makes. Uh, if he pushes over here, it's going to be a bit of a problem, but I actually don't really care. I'll, re I'll rebuild a defensive line back here and uh, just play from here. It's one flag. Like, it's really not a big deal. Uh, and especially if he if he makes an attack that strong, I can then push harder over here. All right, focus. <sighs> You'll notice I left 25 points open. That is so I can buy that AR-234 on the first tick. That is why those points are left there. Because otherwise, I would I like to be able to leave exactly 15, but this time the math didn't work out that well. All right. In the zone, in the zone, in the zone, in the zone. If you guys enjoy this stuff, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more Steel Division 2, Warno, and Gates of Hell content. And consider checking out the Patreon link down below. I also have a new website, attackpowergaming.com. Go check that out for merch and other cool stuff. All right. So he is going for this push. He's going hard for this push. So what's that I'm going to do then is just go a little bit more this way. Hopefully the Pumas can get some kills here. Nope. Puma, I can't, you can't be failing me like that, buddy. All right, well, we got one. Worst things have happened. Early Stu 42. Quick, quick, quick. Smoke, smoke, smoke. All right, let's punish this. Ah, that's a bummer. Miss! I didn't miss. I really wanted him to miss. Oh, that's really bad. That's MP44 shooting at guys in the open. That's really bad. Oh. Oopsies. Oh, CQC is so much better than mine. Early HS129. Okay. So, oh, 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 I should win this. Medium resilience, you know. Nice. Cool. If he wants to give me free kills, that's fine. All right, let's swing back this way. Need an SBW to cover that off. Let's get a Panther. I mean, he got some stuff in here. Not a huge deal, though. Okay, that is gone for sure by now. All 
All right, one more run, and then we're going to run away. Nice. All right, that's done. All right, let's breathe for a second here. Swing this guy back around. He's probably got his own FK. Actually, let's get an off -clare. Then we can put the off somewhere useful. Panthers are coming, so that'll solve that problem. Nice. Yeah, there that thing is. Seems to have a lot of these dudes. Oh, it's too late now. I can't fall this guy back in time. The Panther's going to have to get here and save the day. I'm fine if he wants to stand there and lose his 242. It's a pretty good unit for him. Yeah, that's not exactly where I wanted you to fall back to. <laughs> I'm going to be totally honest. Yeah, no reason to lose both units here, so... Oh, please, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. So, Stu42 dead. Love that for me. Let's just get SPWs everywhere. Obviously, dealing with them is a pain for him. It looks like he's pushed something back here. <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> All right, I'm actually going to send this off Claire way over here. It's out in the open, but I think it'll be okay. Reinforcements coming. This is not the AA of my choice, but it'll work for now. So, Pierce, something's coming here. Let's move this guy back into position to cut off any more reinforcements. SDK has had flak, so he has called in some flak AA. Not that it's going to do a ton, but... Cover difference should give me the advantage here enough, I would think. Yep, it did. Cover matters, folks. Cover is honestly half the time all that matters. Oh, that's unfortunate. Nope, can't get the kill though. Uh, I don't it need one hundred thirty for the the Focke Wolf, so not really worth it. Like, not really worth waiting for that. What? Weird. Almost like he could see me, but there's no way he should be able to. All right, let's get another FK in here. Let's get some Pioneers. Another MG34 infantry here, because it looks like he's trying to push across. Pioneer destroyed, unfortunate. Oh. 
I really thought that a 45 mil would be dead by now. Oh, FK, you failed me. So hard. Only a 1311, not great. Need to do better. But here's where we start to do better. Oh, just short. Looks like he's lying on T-34s. Sweet, love that for me. Next tick, we get some AA here. I think this is where we start to push over here a little bit. Uh, let's just get another Pantagren. And I think I'm going to start pushing a dude out here. I need AA. I don't like 88s, but the fact is it just makes the most sense to call an 88 in here. Uh, let's get an off clear as well. I already do have, but I can push it out further. Uh-oh. Something cheeky is going on. Alright, I say we push this out. Anything that shows itself will die. I'm assuming he's ground attacking me. Be my guess. Alright, 15-9 achieved. Yay me. All right, where is this thing? Right there. Where do I throw the first big boomy is the question. that without thinking but I didn't have the points anyway so I mean that'll spread the bombs it won't do much else all right I've had enough of this did he get the bomb off or not yeah he did there we go I know I bought a Stug 4 Oh, yeah, forgot about this. That's not good. Cool. Still killed the Stug 4, but 42. That's awesome. Push this guy forward. AR will be there in a sec. E. Not again. Boogers. Gotta keep flexing my air force on him. Alright, this is all secured up. Time for a panther with lots of veterancy. Good. Uh, do we have any light AT? No, it doesn't look like it.
Oh, nice. GG. Throwing it in already. Boom, baby. Woo! Doing it the way it needs to be done. Heck yes. There you go, guys. Attack power, attack power playing aggressive. AR doing some pretty good work here. And that's I, I just love those things. They're so good. Like your opponent, you like get your opponent like off off the beat of him, his own play. The second he's on the back foot, anytime he tries to build a fence, you just drop a bomb on it. Like a big bomb. That's so hard to stop. Like there's you need so much AA. You need at least two pieces of AA to actually stop this thing from dropping the bomb, let alone kill it. Like it's so rough. But if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider checking out the Patreon link down below. Thanks a bunch, guys, and have a fantastic day.